Hello everybody, let's look at buffers in Rust. So what you're looking at here is my website, redandgreen.co.uk, and we're in the Rust section. What is a buffer? Typically a block of memory used for temporary storage of data. They're commonly used when reading or writing data to or from sources like files, network sockets, or memory. There's an example here, so let's jump across and actually run it. So Without further ado, let's just run it and we get 26. <laughs> what does that actually mean? Well, it's actually the size of the text in bytes. So we're going to be working with a buffer. We're going to initialize it with all of those zeros 10, 1024 for <clears throat> its buffer size. And here you see zero. So we're just going to start with a buffer of 1024 zeros text file example.text so if we do um, sorry if, I'm just going to show you the text file um, and why is that not doing that because I need to do example there we go line one two three as cuatro okay so that's the text file and then what we do is we make so sorry just rewind the buffer is mutable this is probably the important thing to remember when doing this example. The buffer's mutable, the file is mutable, even though we're just reading it. So even for reading, it still needs to be a mute. Uh, we open the file using the ampersand there. Here, so uh, I'll just finish off. So we read the file into the buffer. Sorry, we read the yes, we read the file into the buffer, and then we set that to a variable called res, and then we print it. So that's where the 26 comes from. In fact, we could just say uh, um, number of bytes. We get number of bytes 26. Um, I've also used result here, and we've used I/O result. And IO result also allows you to use the question mark. So if you saw one of my earlier videos this week, um, I used anyhow with a question mark to bubble up the errors up to the result at the top of main. Here, we've also used result with the pointy brackets with the parentheses inside. And we've also, so if you're going to use result with the curly brackets, sorry, the parentheses here, you need to put the parentheses inside the OK. So effectively, you've got two pairs of parentheses. Um, that's pretty much it. One other thing I just wanted to show was, so we've got both of the examples here. So this is one where we iterate, well, we loop through the uh, bytes and read to the end. If bytes, so when you get to the end, if the length of the bytes read equals zero, then it breaks. Um, yeah, one other thing I just wanted to share with you was if you're interested in doing screen recording, um, just check this example out. It's really clear. I don't, hopefully, it comes across as really clear on your screen. If you come to my website, you can also see how clear it is. But I've used, um, I looked at TTY Rec. So if you're on Linux, you can use TTY Rec to record basically your um, putty or not your putty, <laughs> sorry, your bash or your terminal um, session. Also, you can use something called T hyphen rec, and that's what this is. And the benefit of this is it automatically outputs to GIF and MP4. You'll need to download it, download the source from GitHub, and compile it. You need to compile it with Cargo Run once you've cloned the repo from GitHub. But it's, it's and then just copy the binary executable into user uh, bin local whatever wherever you want to put it accessible where you want to keep it accessible and have it in your path so that's just a quick whistle stop tour of buffers if you want to read more come to my website redandgreen.co.uk um and yeah t dot sorry t dash rec let's just um i'll just quickly show you that t dash rec i'm going to do Hyphen capital M, which means it's going to be an MP4, and N means it's going to be natural, so it means it's not going to 
pass out any idle time. So let's do L, uh, PWD, just do a few commands. If I go into Vim, um, exit, <laughs> give the Vim exit tutorial there for you. So if we go D, you see it's applying effects 24 frames. Because there wasn't much typed, it's only actually saved 24 frames. And if we do VLC, T rec dot MP4. Just going to play it in VLC. There you go. And the, the clarity is perfect. Um, it's not lossy or it doesn't appear to be lossy at all. So um, there we go. If you've been looking for a way to record your screen and you've tried TTY Rec and you've tried ASCII Cast or ASCII Cinema, and I know the ASCII Cinema, I mean, it's great projects, but sometimes you do run into sort of problems installing image magic pillow um sometimes you need to they advise you installing node.js and docker and various different bits and pieces so yeah if you can install rust which is easy and you can compile rust which is just a case of cloning the source code and doing cargo run um you're off to the races really because you get the binary and just move the binary into um if we just do uh, what is it called T.rec. You see, I've just put it into user local bin t rec. Because it's there, I can just call it from anywhere. So even if I was in my home directory, just do t.rec and off it goes. So, yeah, thoroughly recommend that. If you go to the t rec GitHub, you can download it and compile it and you're off to the races. So, thanks for watching. And um, yeah, don't forget to visit. Um, WebDoc, if you're after any really fast Linux hosting, um, the control panel is brilliant. You've got um, developer APIs to help you automate provisioning. You can provision servers um, and yeah, backups, etc. as some of the prices. And yeah, click on the link on my red and green site and you'll, you'll find it. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you soon.